Well, good morning. My name is uh, Pastor Tim, and I'm here with Dan and Elizabeth Turk, who are mission co-workers in the country of Madagascar. The Tur Turks have been faithfully ministering there for almost 25 years, and recently we have had an increased involvement with them. We have done so first through the two cents of meal and more recently through uh, physical visits and uh, through uh, mission match opportunities to support specific uh, situations. So uh, welcome Dan and Elizabeth. Today I'd like to ask you, what are you hearing concerning food and water situations in Madagascar during this time of pandemic? Well, COVID-19 has deeply affected the people all over Madagascar, sending many into deep poverty. This is particularly true in the far south where there are currently famine-like conditions and a severe shortage of drinking water. In January, the FJKM Church launched a campaign to raise funds to get help for the south. They want to provide food, seeds, goats, and install water systems. A water system costs about $4,000 and a 50 kilo bag of rice costs about $50 and will feed eight people for two weeks. The need is great. Well, thank you, Dan. Um, when Julie and I visited uh, about two and a half years ago, it was fascinating to see the work on fruit trees and, uh, and how a center was developed to pass on that need. How's the fruit tree ministry uh, progressed in the last couple of years? It's really moving forward a lot. In the past year, the capacity of the fruit center to train low-income farmers has been greatly increased by adding a dormitory building. So far, about 160 people have been trained. Each trainee received grafted trees and the tools needed to graft their own trees. Many trainees have started their own tree nurseries. 50 people from Sarahunenana recently started to get on a path out of poverty by growing grafted mango trees. The tree nursery at Mandritsara that Eastminster helped start is almost completely installed. Another new nursery is in progress in South Central Madagascar to provide grafted mango trees for the South. Future efforts will be aimed at expanding mango growing in the South. And I'd like to ask for prayers for my colleague, Roland Razafiarsan, who has been in the hospital. Oh no. Sorry to hear about Roland. Uh, that, uh, we will pray for him. How has uh, the girls' school where Eastminster helped bring water, how's that doing? Are they, get, are they able to function? Um, the boarding home for girls is called Akani Gazela, and they are doing well. They did have to shut down for a period last year because of COVID, but the girls are back now for this school year. And last year, the girls were able to return who were in the exam period. The water system that you all helped put in is doing very well and making a difference. Pastor Miura, who runs the girls' home, said that there are many times when the waters, the town water shuts off, but the girls don't lose water now. They really appreciate your generosity in helping them get that system in place. They could use prayers for everyone to stay safe as COVID cases are increasing across the island. Anything else you want to add in terms of prayer concerns or otherwise? Just for the country, as um, COVID cases are spiking right now, as they're getting ready to go through winter, and also for the situation in the South, <clears throat> excuse me, and also for Pastor Mura's husband who has been sick. And, and for us to be able to, to uh, return. We enjoy being with family here, but we, we would like to get back to Madagascar. Well, thank you for the update. And we hope that uh, we can continue our relationship and continue to see what the Lord's doing in Madagascar. Thank you so much for your faithful service over so many years. And we really appreciate all that you, you all have done at Eastminster. You have really um, opened your hearts and your pocketbooks, um, but really showed care and love for us and the people of Madagascar. And it means a great deal to the church there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ms. Sotro? <laughs> 
Sir Trapezo Katunko.